A beautiful afternoon sets the stage for our third and final day of the inaugural X Games Sydney. We welcome you into our new home here at Spotless Stadium, and we're setting off today's action with the BMX Big Air Final. What's happening, everybody? Brandon Graham alongside the legend, Chad Kagey, and of course, Mitch Tomlinson, the third member of our team out on the course. Chad, this is an event that you helped ushered in over 15 years ago, and look at it now, front and center here at X Games Sydney. By far one of my favorite events in X Games. BMX Big Air holds a soft spot in my heart. It is captivating and so fun to watch because it is absolutely insane. Faster and higher than anything else you can do at X Games. I am excited. The term progression gets thrown out quite a bit every year at X Games, and this event is a big reason why. Specifically, the athletes that we're seeing out here today headlined by our defending gold medalist trying to make it three in a row, the king of never been done, James Foster. And we are going to see some progression if he expects to hit that third gold medal and be the first one to ever accomplish that feat. 2017 was his first X Games gold medal. He was mental and then brought it back around in 2018. We saw that quadruple tail whip off the quarter. He just continues to push himself, Chad. I cannot wait to see what he brings to the table today, especially knowing who else is in the field, gunning for him with that target on his back. I can't wait. Yeah, the field will be hungry, that is for sure. But right now, James Foster is having himself a moment. One guy that we will be keeping our eyes out for, Vince Byron. He's finished in this contest second place four times before trying to get over the top here at X Games Sydney. Well, he's surely not going to be hard to find with that high-vis shirt on. His entire family here supporting him. He's born in Sydney, and he has a goal of coming home with a gold medal yeah, finally they, on this ramp. There you see highlighter in the club seats. <laughs> That's all of Vince's family and friends, as you said. He calls Brisbane home, but he was born here in Sydney. The fans will get loud when he drops in for his first run. But a look at this start list, some big names out here, including our top-ranked qualifier, Douglas Oliveira. Dougie's coming in with some good momentum from winning in qualifying the other day. You're gonna see him going high for sure. Big Air is called that for a reason. I wanna see people going as high as possible on that quarter pipe. He's gonna bring it. Yeah, we've been watching these guys practice and there are some unique lines in store, that is for sure. But without further ado, we kick off the action with Jay Tui. Our Nitro Circus superstar is unbelievably dialed on the jump. His, his focus on the quarter pipe lately is going to be crucial for how well he does. Oh. And he's got to make it to the quarter pipe in order to do that. But coming out firing, he knows what he's got to do to, to have any opportunity at a medal. He absolutely sends it over the gap. Watch gap. this. Just tucks in, hucking a double flip for the first jump to start this event is wild. He ended up going a little bit too far, too deep. Over rotates, manuals out, and lands on his back. You know he's going to slow that down, dial it in for the next run. That was exciting. A throw away for Jay. That will be a score of 20. So out here today, we've got eight riders. Each of them will get four attempts on this ramp. The best single score counts. The strategy involved with do I go for broke early? Do I set the tone, get that score so I feel good? Or get my feet under me, put together a solid number, and just build that confidence, and then put the banger in at the end? Each rider has a different approach on how they go for it. I had a methodical way of going after it. I always wanted to land a run to get that momentum going for me. Some of these guys do the same thing. I know speaking with Alex, he said he wanted to prove that he was deserving of the space he got here in the finals and he wants to make sure he lands a run. That's his first run. He's gonna build upon that and grow. No doubt, Alex Landeros out of San Diego has been a 
vert and big air alternate throughout his X Games career. This is really his finals debut here at X Games Sydney. And well executed front flip, no hander. And he knows he has room to, to grow from there. He wanted to start with something solid. Nice big stretched out one hander flat. And uh, coming back in in a nice smooth location. That's key here. A 72.33, as you said, his first time on this stage at the big show land something, feel good about yourself, now you can start climbing the ladder. Woo! There we see our top-ranked oh, yeah, qualifier no, no. from Brazil, Douglas go. Oliveira. Let's see how he got here, Chad. That is a humongous backflip tail whip, letting the bike spin around, and right there you're looking at why it's called Big Air. He hits that gigantic 27-foot-tall quarter and blasts to the moon. Yeah, nearly 18 feet. It was 17-11 for Dougie Oliveira, and he is the perfect rider to talk about the dynamics of the height of a trick versus the risk of a trick. There's always a risk versus reward that's going on, and he goes so much higher than most of the other guys. Uh, you, you're gonna get Morgan Wade rivaling his height with some different tricks, but there's a risk factor that goes into when you start going over 15 feet, edging up oh. towards 20. Oh, and Dougie just not getting the right rotation, but popping up, he's safe, he's healthy. He's ready to throw that one away, get it behind him. Yeah, lest we forget, so Oliveira went 17 feet, 11 inches uh, a couple of days ago. He went 22 feet out of the quarter pipe at X Games Foz de Guasu just a few years ago. And there we see Michael Laren. He's so great in this sport, such a terrific ambassador. We actually caught up with him right before X Games Minneapolis. Let's hear Mikel in his own words talking about his love of BMX. Hey, I'm Mikel Laren, and I compete in BMX Vert and BMX Big Air at X Games. Yeah, I live in San Diego, and my local park here is Claremont Skate Park. Being from the Midwest, I grew up with a ton of skate light, wood ramps, all that different stuff. And so it's a really cool atmosphere for me to tap back into. I feel like I'm 12 all over again. So being here at the skate park, it's awesome because they have such a, a young demographic. And it's fun because this is our training facility, so to say. But at the same point in time, there's a lot of these kids that are learning. And it's fun to kind of share with those kids the knowledge that we've learned over the years the hard way. And, you know, gift those little nuggets of truth that'll kind of help them get ahead. And it's just really nice to have kind of an impromptu uh, lesson with some of these kids and, you know, kind of show them what's up. And it's been a really cool, you know, aspect of coming here. Yeah, Mike Hell comes into the skate park here quite a bit. He is easy to get along with and goes out there and hangs out with kids, talks with them, rides with them, gives them pointers. I feel that he's an asset to our program. This really adds to the flavor of Claremont Skate Park. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out my local spot here at Claremont and uh, take care. A great rider, a neat personality, as we said, an ambassador for the sport. Bikes over Baghdad rider, travels overseas, and as versatile a rider as we have here at X Games. We see him in vert, we see him in park, we see him in big air. Such an inspiring individual. He is a diverse rider and bringing it right out here to the big air ramp, starting with a backflip, keeping that speed going and seeing how high oh. he can go. My goodness, that's the highest air we've seen all day. Whoa! That was so high, upwards of 18, 20 feet, 18 feet, two inches. Michael Laren jumping off of the quarter pipe on his first run. And remember, Chad, he just missed the podium at X Games Minneapolis, had to settle for fourth place, looking to add his second ever X Games medal. He wants to get back on that podium. He loves this ramp. He has a motto. He and I always train together, and he'd always say, scare yourself once a day. I'm well, fairly certain today. I'm fairly certain he's going to scare himself once today on top of this big air ramp. A 66.66, so obviously the height there. Now the judges want to start to see that trick progression. That's the highest I have seen him go since arriving here in Sydney. So that should ease his mind a little bit, give him a little more comfortable feeling up that high in the air. Fairly certain next he's going to start blasting some tricks up there. Now keep an eye on Morgan Wade. He has a very unorthodox way to drop into this ramp. He just created this yesterday. He removed a railing. As he starts going, he's not rolling in the traditional way. 
We saw this on Instagram, and now he's putting it out here in the final. Oh my gosh, I Whoa. can't believe he did it. <laughs> he Whoa. is completely Morgan. insane. He drops where the railing is to protect people from falling and hops a tail whip down to the 50-foot rolling gap and then swerves over to the large jump. Morgan, I thought you were joking. You're really doing this here in Look the final. This. Barely a half a crank to get speed. Drops in doing a tail whip. I, I, that just isn't logical whatsoever. We saw him complete this run on social media yesterday. So we know he's got it. If he can dial in this run, as you said, the judges haven't seen anything like that before. So how will it get scored? That is going to be heavy on their shoulders. I <laughs> applaud them for figuring it out. You notice that he under-rotated and landed right at the knuckle. That sticker line is where you want to go past. Heaven you want to be there place. for the sweet spot. Amazing. He told me it's difficult to regulate the speed after jumping all the way from the top into the ramp and he must have just slowed down a little bit too much that time. So here's Ryan Williams out of the Sunshine Coast here in Australia, making his second X Games appearance. At his first X Games appearance, he did quite a few tricks, but was unable to complete a solid run. And here he goes for that front flip flare. And there it is! That's the first time he's ever pulled that. Oh my gosh. He has been trying so hard and was so nervous about being here in Australia riding the big air ramp for the first time. RW, who's a pioneer in scootering, absolutely slaying this course, putting together the best big air run of his young X Games career. Absolutely. He's been trying so hard to get a full pull. He did it. Now he can build upon that and get that high air portion of the quarter pipe. If I were in the judge's position, that would be the only drawback I would see, is he didn't go double digits on this front flip flare. He stayed at eight foot, nine inches. Incredible that he was able to pull it. Just a wild looking run, Chad. He has a very unique style about him. He does tricks that nobody else does. He stands out because of it. And there you go, 88.66. Solid score oh, for that. Oh, yes! I love you, Jamie Bestwick. There you see the shout out to Jamie Bestwick. A strong first run. Let's head down to Mitch, who's with Ryan. Ryan, talk about getting the crowd on their feet. Now, tell me the truth. Was that the first time you've done that in competition? That's the first time I've done that ever. Ever. So we saw the debut. The crowd's going nuts again. Now, tell me here competing on home soil, how does it feel? I was so nervous, but I was so confident. Thanks. Everyone in Australia, I love Aussie land, so uh, huge shout out to Jamie Beswick. He literally taught me how to do that after I crashed the last one, so shout out to Jamie Beswick. Plenty more to come. What yes! a moment for the young Australian here on home soil, but we turn our attention to another Aussie, Vince Byron, making his 13th X Games appearance. He's got 11 X Games medals, four of them silver in this event. Chad, is this the day where he goes over the top and gets that first goal? He has it set in his mind, and here he goes spinning. Oh, oh no! Oh, that over rotating heavy. just a bit. And the consequences on this ramp, when you mess up a tiny bit, are massive consequences. He flew all the way to the bottom. So good to see him safe, but if you look, at, look closely at his front wheel, I'm seeing the spokes pointing out sideways. He has busted that front wheel and it is no good. He's gonna have to get a replacement before his next run. Tough one for Vince Byron, but that's why you get four runs out here in today's final. Welcome everybody to the Road to X Games. I'm your host, Jack Matrani. We're here in beautiful Moreno Valley, California to link up with three-time BMX X Games medalist, James Foster. Talk to me a little bit about X Games. You've been competing in X Games since 2013 and last year was your first X Games gold medal. Yeah. What do you think like attributed to that gold medal last year? Honestly, eating better, exercising regularly, and doing yoga and meditating. Those four things I went from riding and competing and doing well 
to being able to accomplish the, the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> what was it like standing at the top of the ramp on that last run? I mean, there were so many, you know, podium changes and it was the most head-to-head -head battle I've ever witnessed. I was going through the trick over and over again in my head, visualizing what I'm doing, like going through the motions in my mind with my eyes closed and then open my eyes. Okay, here we are, it's go time. Drop in and try and do what I did in my head on my bike. And, and you know, it, it worked. You call it luck or, or good fortune, skill, you know, all of the above, who knows. What just happened? James Foster, the hard work, the dedication, pays off. I don't know if you saw the video, but I, I threw my bike at the end. I mean, I couldn't, I was beside myself. I, I still am. I, mean, I still can't believe that it went the way that it did. That being said, man, good luck at X Games this year. Thank Can you. we get a session going? Yeah, man. Let's Chris in this ramp. Thing. So neat to see with history on the line, James Foster trying to be the first ever to go three in the row. It is absolutely air. staggering to see what he has already accomplished and he has goals that are just growing every single day. He surprises himself. I talked to him uh, earlier this year and he says he's never felt healthier and stronger. And here he is dropping in. Let's see what he's bringing. Backflip, triple tail whip. Does land it, little bobble. Let's see how he's doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, he just scared me so bad. Stayed on the bike. Uh, 15 feet, roughly. Riding on and the absolute edge. Happy enough, he's launching his bike back down the ramp. And there Here he goes. The, the yoga on display with that slide down. I cannot wait to see the replay of this quarter pipe. But as you said, it, it was awfully close One, here over the two, gap. three. Pushing the boundaries, gets back on. His feet didn't even get on until right. he landed touching the ground. And then as he takes off, kicks again. One, two, a third tail whip, a fourth what? tail whip, and then watch his back tire. I the cannot believe no he tapped way. coping, no got way. his feet back on. <laughs> he just did seven tail whips in two jumps. So after Ryan <laughs> Williams of. got the fans off of their seats and on their feet, James Foster puts down a 90 and is back in familiar territory. He's in first place. He is in a solid place for another gold medal right now. Happy. James Foster trying to go three in a row, and that run right there is going to go a long way toward making it happen. Welcome back to X Games Sydney. Hard to tell with this beautiful afternoon we've got here, but lightning struck last night in a big way. Check out this time lapse right as the Moto X freestyle final, or excuse me, the doubles final was set to begin. Weather absolutely taking over. Amazing that we're out here competing though today. From backflip to almost swimming out there.
Unbelievable how it's changed into such a beautiful day and ready for this final day in Spotless Stadium. Yeah, Mother Nature thought she'd have her way with us, but the action moves on here. Third and final day, run one in the books for the BMX Big Air final run number two coming up. And it's James Foster picking up where he left off at X Games Minneapolis. He's in the lead. He is definitely in the lead with that 90. <laughs> I know he's got room to improve on that. He did an 11 foot one inch quad whip. He went higher last time doing it. He knows he can do better. These guys are gonna have to work hard to overtake him. J2, he's sitting in seventh place, trying to land a run here today. Here we go, Jay. Nice big high backflip tail whip. Lands in a comfortable location, not comfortable with that quarter pipe air. You can see that bicycle boogie, giving him some shakes trying to land in a decent spot. He knows that's another throwaway. So Jay had issues over the gap on run number one. They continue, but now over the quarter on run number two. But again, back to James Foster. He saw what Ryan Williams did, two riders before him, and to set it off like that first attempt, that's pretty extraordinary, Chad. James doesn't want to wait until the last run and put the pressure on himself. He visualized himself pulling that run, and he started the event that way, which is how he ended the last one, picking up where he left off, and now he can build upon that, because you know he's got something creative in his mind. Alex Landeros actually in bronze medal position at the moment, finally making the big show. Here with at Big Air. A backflip, double tail whip. I have not seen him do that yet on Big Air. With a humongous double tail whip on the quarter pipe. He is improving upon his previous riding, and he's just wanting to do that consistent, keep growing and growing through the contest. Tech talk. Start stacking those tricks, stacking those runs, and he's playing it like a guy who's been competing in this event for five years. Amazing that he's making his Big Air debut finally here in Sydney. First time competing says to me, I want to prove to everybody I deserve to be here. And he's showing it with the way he's methodically going through his event. You called it a 77, so that adds up to his score. Third place is where he will stay. Two runs in, though, to be in podium position. Nothing wrong with that. Giving himself just a little extra cushion between he and Mike Hell sitting in fourth place. Douglas Oliveira. Did not land his trick over the gap to begin on run number one. He is our top ranked qualifier. His amplitude off the quarter as good as anyone here. And when you see him land that jump, just keep your eye on him when he hits that quarter pipe. You know he's going to go high. That's what he loves doing. Eighth X Games appearance still in search of that first medal. Big backflip tail whip and lands in a wonderful spot. Clean. Humongous bar spin to no-hander. That was really high. That's Dougie style, love it. Key to that big air, going big. Well done, Dougie. Look at that, stalls the bike upside down in that tail whip to just Nice and easy, put his feet back on the pedal, spot his landing. That was effortless. That was pretty. So Oliveira absolutely going to jump up his score, but where will this second run put him? As we said, Landero sitting in that bronze medal position with a 77 on the dot. A 70.33 for Douglas Oliveira putting him up into fourth place. Well, let's head down to Mitch, who I believe has a Condor sighting out on the course. Yes, that's right, gentlemen. We have a Condor sighting. We have a man that leads no introduction in the BMX world, an icon, a legend, Matt Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, tell me, what do you think of this event here in Sydney? Man, I mean, these guys are throwing down so hard. I could not be more proud. This is amazing. And a taste of what's to come. This is just warming up. It's run number two. I'm scared, really. I mean, that was first. That was the first run. I mean, who knows? I mean, I, I, w I thought that would be maybe what we'd get on the, you know, the, the greatest run yet. So, who knows? We got three more. Hold Ladies on. and gentlemen, boys in the booth, Matt Hoffman. 
Matt is so committed, Chad. Obviously, you've competed against him for years. He's the sport organizer. You see him out on vert ramps, sweeping. You see him out on the dirt course with a shovel on his hands. He's always busy doing something around this craft here at X Games. He loves BMX more than anybody I've ever met. He wants to be involved. He loves the progression. He will push and have anything better and bigger than what's been done in the past simply for his own personal pride. He doesn't need another gold medal. He just goes for it. It is so cool to see. So here's oh my, oh my goodness! Oh, that's out of nowhere! We had no idea he was doing this stuff. Big, gigantic 360 drop in. Oh, my cow, this is... Yeah! back if he was talking to Morgan or not. That was insane. I, I, I'm speechless. A 15-foot downside double tail whip. It's so Watch casual. This. Pulls this. the rug out from under Morgan. Huge. Wave's trick. 360 drop in. That is... I. Uh, what are you thinking, Michael? Oh, wow. And then jumps in, swerves over, just misses the edge by inches. As you said, our camera was on him up there. We didn't think that he was going to do that. He hadn't been doing it all week. Well, if anybody did know, they sure didn't tell any of us. That was such a surprise. An 85 for Michael. So with that run, it jumps him up into bronze medal position. Wow. What a showman. That was impressive. Unbelievable. Oh, that was a surprise was for sure. And guess what? He does it right in front of Morgan Wade, who is planning on doing this. You know they're both doing it. They're supporting <laughs> each other, high-fiving each other. There is no bad blood there. Nobody's stealing anything from each other. And we're going to get that. Hopefully, we're going to get that tail whip again. Clearly, he's dropping in from that middle section with the gap. Morgan Wade Here has we go. Morgan started with the big a tail whip. Here yeah. we go. Big oh, Superman C grab and carrying his speed like he always likes doing. Oh my goodness. He was up at the 20 foot mark with a huge one handed tail whip. Big invert. And it looked like he was going to hang back, wheel, and go down. He jumped out. Morgan Wade set the big air height record. This blows me away. In 2017. <laughs> They're doing tricks on the roll in. And we're, this one is always a crowd pleaser. But it's the quarter that sets Morgan Wade apart. He was going for the air up Watch how there. high he goes. Yeah, he set Upwards. the height record back in 2017, 23 feet. But here, watch inches. the back tire. Clips. Yeah, there it is. Back tire clips coping and just pops his hands off the handlebars. He knew he couldn't hold on to that one. So Morgan Wade putting pressure on himself to deliver with just two runs left Whoa. here in the final. Trying to make Matt Hoffman proud with the highest possible air on that enormous quarter pipe. Well, he's sitting in second place, multi-talented. Listen to Ryan Williams' reaction after hearing his first X Games invite before this past summer. People always told me that the tricks I was doing were only possible because I was on a scooter. But I'd rode BMX on and off my whole life and I truly believed that I could get them done on a BMX as well. I didn't even open the email. All I saw was congratulations from X Games and I couldn't control my emotions. I just got straight up. I gave my phone to my girlfriend and I'm like, film this. And I just did a back foot on flat, started running around going crazy. Immediately, I called Travis Estrana, and within a week, I was at his house learning new tricks for the Mega Quarter. I was just that 12-year-old kid down at the skate park that everyone picked on. They told me I wouldn't make it anywhere, but here I am at X Games. If I can make it, you can too. So innovative, so out of the box. It's a rarity that X Games has been able to see these type of crossover athletes and bring them in so early in their career. But Ryan Williams is that talented. It could not be ignored. 
He is unbelievably talented. His skill level on anything with wheels. I've been on Nitro Circus with him, and he'll grab a mountain bike, a BMX bike, a scooter, an, an Esky. He'll jump anything. Here we go with nothing front <laughs> bike flip. One of his, his originals, and then straight back into that front flare again. Clearly, he has fixed whatever the problem was in Minneapolis, and he knows how to land that. If there is a crowd MVP early in this contest, it's Ryan Williams with tricks like this over the gap. And watch that quarter pipe he did. 10 foot 9 inch with that front flare. He upped the amplitude from the last run. Getting up into those double digits is key for the judges. Because if you can do something on a regular vert ramp at the same height that you do it here, but he's now borderline on going higher. Look at the, it's such a blind trick. You can't see anything but the sky. That is such a dangerous trick and lands in a great spot with a smooth, consistent landing. I I'm impressed. Trying to best his 88.66 Foster in front of him with the 90. 91. And Ryan Williams takes over first place. Oh, wow. Look at the surprised look on his face. He is so excited. Ryan Williams absolutely feeling himself as he jumps up in a gold medal position. And clearly creating a battle for everybody else to chase him down looking for that gold. Chad, it feels like we see this every single year in Big Air, these battles, these rivalries that are brewing right now. We thought Vince Byron and James Foster were going to get after it. Now Ryan Williams throwing his name in the mix. Vince Byron needs to land something huge here. The talent that is in this contest, I, it, I'm glad I'm not in it. Oh my goodness! Whoa. And then here we go, humongous flare. There it is. Good, solid, clean run. Wow, that's what we've been waiting for out of Vince Byron. That's what his family and friends came here for. So tech, so smooth. He makes it look. Effortless job. He calls it his front seven here. Lands in a good spot. Nice and straight. No bobbles anywhere. And a humongous flare. Now that he's got this run under his belt, you know he's going to add something to this. We've, we've seen it out of him. He's going to throw away. Yep. Yeah. He wanted to throw away that 21. Right. Now he's got the 81.66, stepped into fourth place, but he's not on the podium. He's hungry for it. So we turn our attention to James Foster, trying to make it three gold medals in a row. He just got jumped by Ryan Williams. Chad, he's as strategic as anyone in this field. Let's see what he can do here. When he's been pushed, he's always come out on top. It happened at X Games Minneapolis this summer. It happened at X Games Minneapolis last summer. And it's going to have to happen here at Spotless Stadium. Loose lips sink ships. He has secret tricks nobody knows about. He's throwing down what he's consistent and comfortable with to get him into a good spot. And when he needs it, he's going to open up that bag of tricks. And we're all going to be surprised. That's just his style. And here we go. Big no-handed backflip because you know he's going hungry at this one. Tabletop, that was potentially one of his higher airs that I've seen him do so far on this trip. So I'm not sure if this is a setup for what he wants to do next because he is not upping his score. No handed backflip on the big gap. Lands in a good spot to carry his speed. This has got to be a setup. And then cranking a tabletop going a little bit higher than he normally was. So he's he's 15 1. 15 feet 1 inch over the top of that 27 foot tall quarter pipe. So it interesting play. He's got a 90. That is not going to best his 90. So is that a setup for what we're going to see in round three? You know, just as we said, a, a guy who is so strategic and understands that it has to be something going on. Ryan Williams setting the course on fire here at X Games Sydney.
there's the individuality that comes with being creative, with going towards your passion. And to walk away from that, you're walking away from this structured thing that puts you in a category. And people are like, whoa, 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 he knows something I don't. I don't like that. And then they'll chase after that and either, you know, put you down, bully you, whatever it might be, that they, they know you know something that they don't. And so I think that usually it's a, a knowledge thing or maybe like a insecurity thing or inferiority or whatever it might be. And it, it's okay to be different. That's why you're at the skate park in the first place, right? You know, so I just think that with, uh, with bullying at the skate park, if these kids have that knowledge and comfort to say, yo, I'm okay, I'm different, that's fine. Well, why are you doing a kickflip that way, bro? That's just the way I learned it, you know? I think there is a deep-rooted, you know, issue uh, behind the action with bullies for sure. Shred hate, choose kindness. If you're being bullied or seeing bullying, check out xgames.com slash shred hate. There are resources out there. It does get better. We are in the middle of a heated battle here at the BMX Big Air Final at X Games Sydney. Ryan Williams setting the pace with that massive 91 on his second run to catapult into first place. James Foster trying to make history go three in a row. He's now sitting in second, Chad King. It, sitting in second, but only one point behind. That last run for me felt like he was setting himself up, preparing for whatever he's got for round three. He knows he needs to do a little bit more. He has the ability to go higher. He has that, that bag of tricks. He's gonna surprise us in these next two runs. And here we go, J2, he dropping in. Run number three. Got his double flip. Absolutely nailed that one. And a very large no-hander. I really don't think he meant to have his foot fall off. And the ju if you think that, then the judges probably know that. They know that. They're, they're watching. But I am so happy he rolled away from that. That might be one of his highest airs he's ever done. On his first run, he had trouble over the gap. On his second run, he had trouble landing off the quarter. It's not perfect, but it's his first full pull of the day. It's his first make. And now he can build upon that because he's not typically the big air guy. He doesn't always, he's got those jump skills, but the quarter pipe is the part that's it's a little bit of a crux for these guys that don't ever ride that. A decent enough score, a 74.33 for the 27-year-old Tui making his X Games debut. Nicely moving his way up the list. So here's Alex Landeros who has been stacking probably better than anybody else. Right now he's in fifth place, just improved from run one to run two. Now he can really show out, Chad. The, the consistency shows. He can continue building upon the oh. fair. And unfortunately got a little excited and overshot that jump. It's just, uh, it, it's a 64 foot gap and he just overshot it. You can see that black line on the landing is where the, the sweet, stop, sweet spot begins. And there you go, landing back tire straight to his back. <laughs> Gonna have a bad time, but he was giving himself room to be able to send it after putting down two decent scores. He'll get one more attempt, but we move on to our number one qualifier, Douglas. Oliveira, he's sitting in seventh place, landed his second run. We saw the amplitude on display. Now we need to see the trick selection up. Let's put it together. He'll get his tricks with that high amplitude. His, his ability to go high on that quarter pipe is the part that makes him stand apart from everybody else. And in the past couple of years, he's really upped his trick selection. There you go, there's another new one. He's got that no-handed front flip. He carries so much speed. Oh, 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 oh. And he pulled out of that quarter pipe. When I say pull out, he's pulling away from the face of the quarter pipe, which is perfectly straight up and down at the top. And it forces you to go too low on the quarter pipe to hold on. Yeah. He knew it. He stopped. He didn't do the rest of his trick. He missed half of that ramp. And that move where he's patting himself on the back, I think anyone watching, like, sporadically starts doing that themselves when they see someone hit the ramp that hard. He gave us that international sign language yeah. of, that really hurt when I yeah. sat down. I don't speak Portuguese, but I understood that. Michael Laren jumped up into bronze medal position with this move off the top that we didn't know he had. I, it, and another new one. 
I, it, the, the guys are just turning this into a game with that drop in. Here we go, humongous oh. look back. Just solid, stylish trick on that quarter pipe. It's not the most complicated tech thing. It's a classic old school BMX move at 16 feet. Big backflip tail whip after that wild drop in. I can't believe they're sessioning that drop in with tricks. Michael is a podium threat in three different disciplines. Still in search of that gold medal here in big air. He's earned a bronze, but man, oh man, he is pushing it out here today. He's sitting in bronze medal spot, not better than his second attempt. No, not better. He's changing it up, he's having fun. He clearly scared himself by doing something he's never done on that drop in. So here's Morgan Wade. Morgan is sitting in dead last in eighth place, yet to land a run. He's the only rider to not do so here today. He has a plan, but it's his third of fourth attempts here, Chad. This is the moment he needs to seize the opportunity. He's a former gold medalist. He knows what he needs to do. He has the mentality. He's clearly having fun as he's dropping in, doing different tricks. Here comes that tail whip drop in. See if he can maintain the proper speed. No hand at oh. 720 and does not get it all the way around. As you said, Morgan has won this event before. We know he has it in him, but putting so much pressure on himself for one final attempt. That pressure is just eating at him. He knows what to do. He's trying to do something new. So does he now plan ahead and think, do I get rid of that tail whip drop in that is super fun to do, but isn't making it the best layout for doing his gap trick? Right. Well, we're hoping for the best. He's got one more run. He can throw the previous three away, and you only need one to win. Our current leader, Ryan Williams, has that 91, but he cannot have a sigh of relief yet, not with James Foster right behind him. Going for that unique signature trick, that nothing front bike flip into this quarter pipe with a huge front flare again. Such a cool and dangerous trick. That trick is blind through the entire rotation. You don't know if you're hanging up, landing flat, or clearly landing where you're supposed to. And this is three in a row for him, and each one has gotten higher. And you see him pointing up. He wants to go higher. He knows what he has to do. Just art of flight over the gap from Ryan Williams. Upping that height by about six inches. Our height meter is precise enough to distinguish between a six inch difference. Oh my and goodness. He just upped his score again. Giving himself a little more space between himself and James Foster. I think stoked. Was that the dance he did when he got the invite? Because he might have to up that dance if he gets this gold medal. Ryan Williams is having himself a day, but cool, calm, and collected. Vince Byron has his game face on. He's right now just outside of the podium. There you see his friends and family. He needs a big one here, Chad. Oh, my oh. goodness. Front rotating 1080. He is he's shooting for it. He's going all the way. He told me he's riding in front of his hometown crowd, his family, his friends, and doing well standing on the podium would be the best way to thank them for their lifetime of support. Made the distance, did not make the proper rotation, clearly blowing his hand off. I mean, it, it, he's got to be frustrated at this point. He's got one more run. He's thrown away the last three. He's just so competitive. He knows the record. He knows the numbers and the stats. So many second place finishes. Can he get over the top? Right now, he's just trying to land that run to get back on the podium. James Foster, he's gone back to back. Right now, he's in silver medal position. His rival, Ryan Williams, just improved his standing in first place. He needs something out of this world One to spot reclaim away the top spot. From having three in a row, and let's see what he's doing. 
Oh my. Backflip, triple tail whip. Into that quad again. Yes! Was it higher? Was it higher than the first one he did? That's going to be the key on whether his score goes up or not. The tech over the gap 13, is simply remarkable. Where does that four. put him versus his previous run height-wise? He went just over two feet higher on that quarter pipe with the quad whip. Let's double check it was quad whip because that thing was moving fast. Quad whip and a much better landing on that quad whip. He didn't hang up and he was two feet higher. Two points the difference between Williams and Foster. 90.33. He okay. ups his score by 0.33. I, it, it was because of that landing on the jump. We have got a heater going on. Final attempts time here in Big Air right after this. X Games returns to Buttermilk Mountain with the world's best action sports festival and live musical performances from The Chainsmokers, Lil Wayne, Lewis the Child, and Kaigo. He's going! He does it! X Games Aspen, January 24th through the 27th. Get your tickets now at xgames.com slash tickets. One more run to go here in our BMX Big Air Final from X Games Sydney here in Spotless Stadium. Let's head down to the third member of our team, Mitch, who's with, I believe, a really special group of fans in the crowd. We'll get to him in a second, but right now we take a look at our podium positions thus far. Michael Laren absolutely changing the game like something we've never seen before sitting in third. Having so much fun doing it. And James Foster, our defending gold medalist. He's trying to go three in a row, but right now, he's sitting in second. He can clean a couple things up, got, gain a little bit of amplitude on that quarter, and you know he's going to come firing back. Ryan Williams got his first X Games invite for Minneapolis earlier this summer, but now he's in a position to win his first ever X Games gold. Three phenomenal runs and growing on it. Oh, can't wait to see yeah. how this one shakes out. I teased it. Our own Mitch Tomlinson's out on the crowd with, I believe, a very special group of fans. Mitch, who are you with? Yes, that's right. Not, um, not only is the seats in the crowd the best seats ever, but I am with Tony and Ange Byron and the crew that are none other than Vince Byron's special support crew. And these guys are going to go nuts as we get ready for the fourth run. Let's make some noise for Vince, people. Yeah! Subtle attire for the Byron clan. <laughs> They're hard to find out there. 
So just like that, it's fourth and final runs here in the BMX Big Air Final. This thing is going to be a finish unlike anything we've seen in recent years, partner. But we start things off with J2. He put down a very solid third run. He's sitting in sixth place. Respectable runs and doing well. Oh, oh going oh, for oh, that oh, nothing oh. front bike flip. He and Ryan Williams are the only two that know how to do that on a BMX bike, and he wanted to bring it. Chad, few things scarier to these eyes than watching somebody cross the gap and losing their mode of transportation while in the air. He's trying to fly. He's flapping his wings. There you go. We call that rolling up the windows. And that bike is now a dangerous projectile oh, flying oh off of the ramp. Ooh. Happy he made it out safe. He knew he wanted to bring something extra and have fun and go for it. So Tui not finishing the way he would have hoped. Sixth place is where he'll stay. Alex Landeros seemed to be climbing the ladder early. Solid first run score, up the ante on attempt number two, did not land his run on his third attempt. He's sitting in fifth place. He's getting ready to roll in. You could watch him moving his hands. He was visualizing what he wants to do before dropping in. And here we go. Backflip, double tail whip, landing that very smooth. Double tail whip on the quarter pipe. Looks like it was right around the height he did earlier with the other double tail whip. Let's see if the clean landing on that flip double tail whip and the smooth landing on the quarter pipe can up his score. Yeah, trying to replace that 77. Michael is holding on to bronze medal position with that 85. That would be what he could potentially be aiming for with this run. Out there proving that he does deserve to be there. Three solid runs. Yeah, no doubt. He doesn't improve his score. And it should be noted, two years in a row, an alternate in this event. Sometimes it's the little victories. Coming out here, putting down solid runs, staying healthy. Alex Landeros, I don't think this is the last we'll see of him in Big Air. Absolutely not. He finally gets his invite instead I'm of on. an alternate spot. Qualifies in, shows everybody three solid runs, one throw away. He deserves to be here and to think he tries to ride it as often as possible, and that means the last two years at X Games as an alternate is the only time he gets to ride it. Really good point. Douglas Oliveira, our top-ranked qualifier from earlier this week, he's sitting in seventh place, had a hard fall off of the quarter last run. Not having the runs he wants, and once again, he's just sliding out. The speed was off. Such a great competitor. Thanking the crowd, loving what he's doing. So much personality. He's a lot of fun out here, and he's a fan favorite. Unfortunately, just not Douglas's day. And seventh place is where he will stay. Michael Laren, he's sitting in bronze medal spot with an 85 that he scored on his second attempt. Brando, do you notice where he set his bike up? At the back of the deck, which means he's going to get another half crank, maybe a full crank, and we might see another new trick on that drop in. Innovation in real here time we go. here in Big Air. Huge 360 and nose dives in. I can't believe he's doing that. Big backflip tail whip. And what does he have here? Three, yes. <laughs> Three of them. An exit stage ride. <laughs> Mike <laughs> has taken over Spotless Stadium. Oh. He just had three great tricks on a ramp that you typically only see two tricks. And when watch you get the watch from this Matt drop Hoffman, in. You know you've done something. Watch right. this. He nose dives in. He nose dives a bunny hop 360 into a gigantic 80 foot tall roll. Oh. Straight to a perfect backflip tail whip. Michael just Watch flexing this. on him. One, two, three. Nails the triple downside whip. Lands, pedals solid there. Swerves a little bit, misses the fence, doesn't run anybody over, and everybody is cheering for him. That was exciting. <laughs> Foster in front of him. 87. Up to score. score. Doesn't bump up in the standings, but what a day for Michael Laren.
Anything you can do to up your score gives you a comfortable area to just get away from the guys attacking you. So here's Morgan Wade. Yet to land a run. It should be noted, if he medals, he'll tie some guy named Chad Kegi for the most big air medals of all time. Wait, are you telling me I actually hold the record for most medals right now? Did you not know that? What? Did, did research didn't tell me this. Oh, I guess this is your first time in the booth. We have all this information every single year, Chad. Yes! Huge tail whip drop in. And land, oh, no, he doesn't land it. I want him to put that together and not do the worm until he gets back to the top of the landing. I don't mind seeing the worm. Morgan always out there having fun. You'll see him with some push-ups and doing the worm. Smiling, throwing it aside. He's had a very busy weekend. Yeah, with a tough. lot on his mind. Yep. It, there's always another contest. Yep. And he'll be there waiting with a smile on his face. Your medal record stays safe here in 2018. Ryan Williams, our current leader with the 92. Now, this is not a victory lap. James Foster still has to drop in along with Vince Byron. What does Ryan Williams do here? So Ryan Williams at this point knows he's standing on the podium, but he has some ideas that he told me about, and we'll see if he does them. And there oh, you go, there what, it is. What, 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 what? That was a front flip, front fry flip. Doesn't land just right, so that front flare was low, but are you kidding me? His default was a front flare on the quarter pipe? I'm gonna need to see that replay over the gap like nine times. What just happened? His bicycle did a double front flip while he did I know a what you're saying, flip. Chad. I know Look what you're this. saying, but what am I seeing? It's kind of like a blender going on through the sky over a 64-foot gap. Unfortunately, doesn't get that foot on. Dabs, gets back on, recovers from it well enough to do a five-foot front flare. The so, air awareness, the muscle memory, that's just remarkable. Changing things up in Minneapolis doesn't pull one solid run. Here, has four solid runs, pulls the front flare four times, and is currently in the lead. Woo! But now he waits. Vince Byron has an 81.66. He's outside of the podium. He didn't come here for a bronze. He didn't come here for another silver medal. His friends and family here to see him try to win gold. And obviously going for that goal oh. because he just sent the biggest trick he knows how to do. Unfortunately, does not get that rotation, slides out of it. Ryan Williams breathes a big sigh of relief knowing that was a big threat to his gold medal. Just such a tough day for Vince Byron that we expected. Could this be the moment where he gets over the top on Australian soil? and he's unable to get back on the podium. But this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Our defending gold medalist, James Foster. He's sitting in second place. This is the last run of the final. Rolling in with confidence. He knows what he needs to do, and it does not oh, happen. Oh, no. It didn't happen. He knows he can't win. The second he jumped, he didn't complete his trick. That was so disappointing. You know that didn't go the way that he wanted it to. And with that, Ryan Williams is guaranteed his first ever X Games gold medal. Ryan, the first Australian to win gold here at X Games Sydney. He is in disbelief right now. He is a fan favorite and freaking out. What a moment for Ryan Williams, getting his first X Games invite just a few months ago to X Games Minneapolis, and now he owns gold. Let's head down to Mitch, who's with Ryan. Ryan. Talk about taking in, talk about changing things. Last X Games, you didn't have a solid run. You come here, you put on a stellar display of BMX in front of your home country for the first ever X Games, and you win your first ever X Games gold. How does it feel? It is absolutely incredible. I mean, I went to Minneapolis and I had a trick in mind and it, it didn't work out. I got some great advice from Jamie Beswick and it paid off tenfold. Thank you so much, Jamie Beswick. I really do owe some of this to you, man. 
I can't believe it all worked out here in Australia. The best place in the world, yeah! Now, I'm definitely not going to disagree with that. And what about throwing down not only a trick that we've never seen but in competition, but a trick that you have never done right here? Mate, seriously, this was the only place it was going to happen. I didn't want to try that thing in practice. It's so damn scary, but it paid off. I don't know. Something from above must have been helping me because that was incredible. Shout out to my pop. I love you. He helped me, I think. I think he definitely helped me. And tell me, how good does that gold medal taste right now? Have a bite. Oh, here we go. Make oh, some noise. Tastes beautiful, mate. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. There we have the gold medalist for the BMX Big Air. What a moment for BMX. What a moment for Australia. Ryan Williams winning gold. James Foster, silver. Michael Laren, the bronze. Such an amazing podium with a bag of tricks that I never knew would happen together. Look at that 360 drop in. We were groundbreaking new stuff happened right here in Sydney. Yeah, no doubt about it. James Foster could not make it three in a row, had to settle for silver. Ryan Williams gets his first ever X Games medal and it's gold here at X Games Sydney. For Mitch Tomlinson, the legend Chad Keggy, I'm Brandon Graham. Thanks for watching Woo! here at X Games Sydney.